no intro for this video because I know you didn't believe the thumbnail. So hold your breath and let's see the result. Is that countdown from now? done look at this this was the before and this is after it's look at this before and after it's so so good yes it is that fast okay now let's talk about all these things all these techniques in little more detail uh, so for this uh, at first uh, delete the group one so you can see the original picture here uh, okay, so for the retouching at first I want to remove the blemishes and for this tutorial for this retouching tutorial I'm gonna use a third-party plugin by Retus for me uh, so let's see how it works uh, so at first copy the layer by pressing command or control and Z and you can rename these blemishes that's fine okay just go to the filter and you will find it as forming here and let's try with the heel and this heel plugin is applied to remove the blemishes okay so it's done look at this you can see the before and after by clicking on this original option look at this this was the before and this is after it, it has done a great great job look at this okay where is the sensitivity option this is different from the opacity okay you can control the sensitivity look at this if you increase the sensitivity it will detect more blemishes and remove from your face or skin so look at this it's really really good okay but there is some problem look at this look at the moles uh, the AI also detect the mole as a blemishes. You can remove this by just clicking on this eraser option. Here is the brush size option and you just click and remove those area. And another way to do this you just apply and create a mask in the Photoshop and you can easily remove those area. Okay. So now look at this. The moles are intact so it's done okay now the most important thing in this ai i think they are totally non-destructive just make sure you have clicked the make mask option and now click on the apply and look at this it comes into a new layer so if you hide the background layer and look at the area look at this this is totally non-destructive and that's why i love this ai so much look at this this was the before and this is after okay let's zoom in a little bit and see this was the before and this is after it has done a great great job okay then the next step okay make another layer to apply the next uh, effect by pressing shift command option and E that's it and in this layer we'll apply dolls and burn that's fine again go to the filter read us for me and click on the dolls and burn option okay it's done let's zoom in and see look at this very carefully look at this this was the before and this is after it's really really good look at this this was the before and this is after look at this area look at this okay you can control the sensitivity of this effect also by increasing the blend option look at this when you increase or decrease the blend i think 
let's go with 120 in this case okay let's before and after okay uh, here is another option you can control the mode also right now this is an automatic mode and here is close up uh, here is one for close up portrait one for half length portrait and one is for full length portrait okay make sure you have select the software option when you select this and click on the apply it will come as a gray layer look at this look at this 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 is insane and this is unbelievable you can see the every detail of your doors and barn and think just think of this that how much time it will take when you do this manually it's insane just change the blending mode to soft light and look at this this was the before and this is after okay you can also control the uh, opacity from here that's very easy right now i'm going with 100 and look at the skin texture it's they don't affect the skin texture it's really really good this was the before and this is after it's Okay, so the basic editing is done, but we will apply little more depth, little more shape, little more volume to the portrait. Okay, so for this, make another layer by pressing Shift, Option, Command, and E, and let's rename it to Depth. Just follow the same step filter, it does for me, and portrait volume. Okay let's zoom in and see this was the before and this is after look at this this was the before and this is after this this is too much i think so you can uh, control the opacity or uh, intensity from here also just decrease the blend mode but i will do it in photoshop and make sure you have set the soft light layer that means it will uh, come as a gray layer just click on the apply and look at this look at this 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 is insane just turn the blending mode to soft light and look at this this was the before and this is after okay let's decrease the opacity around uh, maybe 50 percent look at this this was the before and this is after it's done the whole retouching is done let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after it's really really good okay i love this ai i i really really love this one because this is fast this is accurate this is 100 percent non-destructive that is not available uh, in the other ai other retouching ai uh, so this is way ahead because of this non-destructive techniques and also look at this texture it keeps the texture just like the original picture this is really good and it gives you more control uh, that's why i love this ai and this is the best ai retouching ai i think this is this is really really good and you will get an action by using this ai that is totally free uh, the link is on the description download it load it and retouch your photo just one click yes just one click uh, I have already shown in the starting of the video just uh, just load this action click and the Photoshop will do the rest okay so this is the best retouching AI so far this is the best without any doubt still if you have any confusion just go to their website download the demo version and apply to your picture and see the result then decide to buy and one more thing you will get some discount if you download from the link of the description of this video my suggestion is if you're doing your work professionally and you have to read a lot of pictures then this is for you because this is the best so if you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe